There are over one million water wells in Pennsylvania. Unfortunately, more than half of them have something called coliform bacteria in them. These bacteria come from surface water, contaminate the well, and they can make people sick that might be living in the home. You should get your water tested, first of all, to determine if you have coliform bacteria. A, a water laboratory would do a petri dish test, much like this. This particular well came up positive for both coliform and E. coli, which is a kind of coliform bacteria. So what we need to talk about is how can we get rid of these bacteria in the well and make it safe to drink. And it's a fairly simple process for a lot of wells because all we're going to do is add a little chlorine to the well and disinfect it. And the first step would be to remove the well cap. In most cases, that's pretty simple. You just need a crescent wrench to take the bolts off around the well cap and remove it so you can get access to the well to put the chlorine in. Uh, in this case, this is a sanitary well cap that doesn't have the bolts, but most of them will have bolts around the side that you'll just remove with a crescent wrench. The product that we're going to use is a standard 5% bleach. You want to make sure you don't get anything that has dyes or any scents to it, just regular old bleach. Uh, we're going to use about a gallon for most wells will be plenty. And all that we're going to do is take the bleach and mix it with a couple gallons of water. You don't want to put the straight bleach down because it's too corrosive and it might start to eat away some of the metal on the casing. So we're just going to dump the bleach into some water. And you want to make sure, of course, you don't get this on you because it will stain your clothing and is corrosive to your hands as well. Once we have that in the bucket, we're just going to dump it right down into the well very carefully. Now that we have the chlorine down into the well, the next process will be to circulate that water with an outside garden hose and that'll get the chlorine mixed real well down into the casing and kill off all the bacteria that exist down in the well. We're taking our garden hose, we're gonna put it down in the well, and run that for about a minute to mix the chlorine. The next step would be to go in the house, run all the faucets in the house until you can smell chlorine at the faucet. At that point, you turn them all off and uh, you can just let it sit that way for at least six hours and preferably overnight. The next morning you would get up, run the water to waste somewhere, and remember this is high chlorine water so don't put it on things that could die like shrubs or gardens. Uh, you would run that water till you don't smell the chlorine anymore and you're completely done with the process. You would test the water about seven to ten days later, make sure that the bacteria are gone, and if they are you just test it uh, annually again to make sure they're not coming back. If the bacteria come back in that seven to ten day sample you'd need to look at a continuous disinfection process. So that's pretty much the whole process. Hopefully uh, you take care of the problem by doing this and uh, you can get your well safe to drink again. A copy of the program you've just seen can be purchased through Penn State Media Sales at mediasales.psu.edu or by calling 800-770-2111.